I'm investigating nanotechnology in forensics. But even I can see, this isn't going to help. Uh, you'd have a bit more luck with an electron microscope, son. Well, we can identify residues from a gun being fired. We can identify paints or fibres or fabrics or hairs. Thanks, that's... Or authenticate forgery. We can look at a whole range of materials on a very small scale. Wow, that does sound interesting. CSI East Midlands. Detective Prime investigating. I've seen them fingerprinting on the telly. That's true, but nanotechnology has already changed how this is done. Fuming is a standard procedure used by the police. It is based on nanoparticles collecting on an invisible fingerprint which allows it to be seen. It's more effective than the old method because the particles are so small and there are other advances too. Taking fingerprints from a crime scene is a very time consuming task. Uh, by using nanotechnology we can do this quicker. And another advantage is because of the small size of the particles we are using, uh, we can see more detail in fingerprints which has been damaged, for example, by fire or water. So you're saying even minute samples of damaged fingerprints can still be detected? Clever stuff. Did you know that each atom or molecule has its own identifier or fingerprint too? They must be awfully small though. Atoms and molecules have their own characteristic fingerprints and this means we can use those fingerprints to identify poisons or any other contaminants. So, if you've poisoned poor old Aunt Agatha in the potting shed with some weed killer, you won't get away with it. You're so right. Nanodetectors will be able to identify even the smallest trace of the poison. Now, this expert has spent 15 years developing a silver colloid solution which is nano-sized particles suspended in water. Well, there's a very old analytical technique called Raman spectroscopy, and that's been used for many years for trying to identify and detect materials. But unfortunately, it doesn't allow us to detect extremely small quantities of material. I presume this is where the nano bit comes in. What we can do by applying this colloid solution, we can now detect at levels approaching 100 million times more than we were able to do with the old technique. So you mean I couldn't just add an extra zero to this check and get away with it? Certainly not. With this technique we'd be able to see the smallest difference between the ink that was there and the ink that you've put on in changing that document. So no chance of a career as a master forger then? And the news just gets worse and worse for the criminal fraternity. What nanotechnology will be able to do for security is develop anti-intruder systems whereby a burglar gets coated in nanoparticles, which give a unique identity linking that burglar to the scene of crime. So with nanotechnology helping in crime detection, my advice to criminals is give it up. There's no future in it. Come on, let's move on.